Hi, it's Rob from The Brush and Balcon. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint a Blood Angels chapter badge. So here we have a Primaris shoulder pad, painted up with Mephisto on red to start, and we're going to be using Vallejo Black as the colour to do the chapter badge. Now as always, we want to start with a vertical line for the drip in the middle. This goes from the point of the drip to the very bottom of the rounded section. Now if you have, like I did there, painted it slightly wonky, you can just expand that out because you're going to be painting over that area anyway. So you want to concentrate on getting that teardrop shape. You can see that I'm rotating the shoulder pad so that you're getting that round edge, bottom, and you're always dragging the paintbrush downwards away from the point. A lot of the time that's why you'll see me rotating the thing that I'm painting is just because you always want to be dragging the brush down at a comfortable angle. Otherwise, when you try and do it from a different direction, it's not quite as comfortable, or you're not dragging it down from the tip of the brush. You'll end up getting thicker lines. You'll also get the point of the brush splaying a little bit, so it'll spread the paint out, make it look messy. So we're going to do a rough and ready one on the right-hand side. Then we're going to try a slightly different way of painting them on the left-hand side. They both work just as well. It's just a matter of getting the rough area that you're having the wing on here. So if it's a bit too fast, it doesn't matter because you're going to be going back over with the fist on red and touching that up. If you don't get the wing sections in the right place, like when I'm looking at this one here, it is slightly not how I want it, but because it's just the first part of it, we can touch that up with the fist on red when we're ready. So you can see here, the wing should come down more at the bottom. I've already done the five feathers on the right. So those feathers on the right-hand side, you can tell now are in the wrong place. So rather than try and widen them up, I'm just going to paint over the bottom three feathers, which is where the problem is. And then we're going to use some of Fist on Red shortly to tweak that and get those feathers in the right place. So on this side, we're going to be trying to paint the feathers in. You can see, dragging the brush away from the tip there. A little bit not on that section and you can see that the paint splayed and went a lot thicker so that is what you don't want to do. Again rotating the shoulder pad so that you can brush in a downward way or away from the point of the brush. It depends which way is comfiest. Because I'm painting this on a pair of tweezers with the shoulder pad blue tacked on, it's not quite as comfortable as it will be if you are using maybe one of the uh, miniature holders from whichever company you want to use. I've got two of the Games Workshop ones, one from Mortal Realms and one that I picked up when he came out. They they do me fine, like. But if you're holding the model on one of the miniature holders, you can just turn that upside down and hold it like you would be holding it the other way, no problem. And paint the shoulder pad that way when you're rotating it. As this is on a pair of tweezers, it makes it a little bit more awkward trying to get some of those things. So you'll see me holding onto it with a finger or rotating it to a strange angle and painting the opposite way to what I usually would. That's just down to it being on this pair of tweezers and it not being an ideal, comfortable position to paint in. So that is the first section of the wing done you can see the right hand one's a mess the left hand one's not too bad but what we're going to do now is we're going to use citadel and the fist on red i'm going to start to paint into the gaps between the feathers and get them so they come to a point and then start working on the shape of the feathers as well So moving over to the inside of that left wing, I'm just going to be dragging them fist on red straight down the side of the teardrop there, or the blood drop rather. And that has made it slightly kinked at the top of the blood drop, but we can just add a little bit of black shortly. That'll be fine. And so what I'm doing here is, because I'm happy with the left hand side, the way that's turned out, 
than was with the right. I am now copying that. So I'm widening up that little crescent of red on the inside there and then straightening the edge with the black. I'm working on the bottom of the wing and getting that so it's the same shape going to the points of the feathers. Now the problem with the right hand side, the way I've blocked that out because I've got the feathers in the wrong place, is it's now too wide compared to the left hand wing. So what I'll start doing is start working on where the feathers are going to be and then you'll see me start to work those feathers in towards the blood drop in the middle. As always when you're painting stuff by freehand it's just a case of working it into exactly the way that you want it. It does take a bit of time but when you're doing chapter badges and things like that the more you do them the quicker it becomes and then eventually you'll be knocking them out no problem. Possibly not for lamenters because the chequered pattern is a nightmare, but that'll be coming up in a few weeks of how to paint them. So you can see the symbols coming along nicely here. You're just tweaking up the shape of that. Once I've finished painting this section I actually go back and just paint up the rest of the shoulder pad using a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet to highlight it and also a little bit of Juicy Violet down the ridges on the shoulder pad. The actual red on this has just been painted in a slapdash manner because it's just a spare shoulder pad so it's not getting used on anything. There's the video of how to paint a Blood Angel, I'll link that here. And that shows you how to do the armour itself, but this is purely just to do the chapter badge itself. Now when I add the Evil Sun Scarlet, because that lightens it up a bit, you'll be able to see the chapter badge better. So I'm alternating the red and the black on this shoulder pad here because that's pretty much what you'll have to do when you're working out the shape of it. You'll tweak one little bit, tweak another little bit and then just work it into the right position. So I'm adding a little bit of red down the sides there. It's just trying to even up each side until you're happy with it. You keep seeing that looking at the camera because I'm right behind the camera when it's filming. That is why you see me looking at it and trying to get it so it looks exactly the same on each side. I'm going to call that done. This is the finished shoulder pad. Slightly out of focus there but it does come crisper. There we go. And the finished chapter badge on it. So you can see the finished chapter badge there, the Evil Sun Scarlet added and the Druchy Violet added just to give that a bit of shape. But I'm quite happy with the overall finish on the chapter badge. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media link below. Thanks very much.